we could make a table. Good morning, and welcome back to Summit Sunrise. Um, I am here with the John Fielder and Lee as well, Lee Gervin, um, from the Continental Divide Land Trust. Um, it is such a pleasure to have you both in here. Um, I was just asking John, um, I don't know for all of you Coloradans, the big, the big coffee table books, that they're, they're, they're brown, right? They're well, that's the Then and Now project the, that, that was Colorado's best-selling book of all time. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of my you're the man. book. <laughs> I'm the guy that did the Now and William Henry Jackson did the Then. <laughs> well, it's such a pleasure to have you on here this morning. And um, you guys are here because we're talking about all of your, your, your projects, and you have a special event uh, coming up this Tuesday. Is that right? The latest project is photograph and lottery protected lands colorado is still the only state in the country that spends all of its lottery profits 100 million dollars per year on parks trails open space wildlife areas ranches um, all of these things look there's oh, which open space is that lee cal camp cal North camp North open North space North. has benefited in part from lottery dollars great outdoors colorado partners with um, local governments, counties and cities and towns, um, in this case, Summit County Open Space for that, that parcel. Yeah, and um, you know, how, how wonderful that you are able to get out there and capture all this for all of us to see because there's so much to see and sometimes there's just not enough time to, to see it all because there's so much. I'm glad it's me. It's nice <laughs> being outdoors. Um, and Lee's going to tell you about this. I'm doing this tour all over Colorado right now doing slideshow with beautiful music and selling the books and raising money for the nonprofits that sponsor the events to remind people how lottery has truly affected our lives with the hope that it will never go away, that the funding source won't be used mm -hmm. for other things, silly things like education, da 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 <laughs> Silly things like education. So Lee's going to tell you about the event next Tuesday. Yeah, what's happening on Tuesday? So Tuesday night uh -huh. at the Silverthorne Pavilion, mm -hmm. John is going to be presenting a slideshow of his two latest books on the GOCO funded properties around the state and mm -hmm. with a focus in Summit County. Cottonelle Divide Land Trust holds conservation easements on many of the open space properties in Summit County that were funded by GOCO. And so we're going to be celebrating our great outdoors. GOCO also has supported the Frisco Bike Park, mm -hmm. the Sand Volleyball Courts in Silverthorne, uh, skate parks, lots of different programs. They have a far reach in our community. John's going to be presenting a slideshow. We're also going to be awarding our Summit's Great Outdoors Awards. We're going to be recognizing six honorees for their work to help protect our community's natural resources. So folks need to wow. come to the event and learn who that is and, and help us recognize those amazing people. Where um, and when is the event, Lee? It's 6.30 at the Silverthorne Pavilion. Doors open at 6.30. Okay. Next Tuesday. Tuesday the 20th. Tuesday the 20th. And where can um, where can we find more information on this? Is it online or? Yep. CDLT is our dot .org is okay. our website. And I see it's been up on the TV. So thank there, you for that. There you are. Mm -hmm. um, our phone is 453-3875. Uh, We're in the phone book. Okay. Tickets are at the door. Okay. And uh, they're $20 per person. Uh-huh. We hope lots of people come out and help us yeah, out. Yeah, that sounds like a, a great event. And how wonderful um, to see. I mean, this is like John's, like, I mean, I feel like this is like your life work. You, you've done so much with all of your photos. And, you know, you've really done such a good job to tell the story of, of Colorado's beautiful land and open space here. That's nice of you. My knees are killing me, though. <laughs> and, Someone get this guy a massage. And by the way, people should come armed with credit cards, cash, and checks, because not only will the two new books be there, but I have a new children's book. ABC Colorado, and then all of my other books and calendars, mm -hmm. like that Then and Now book, will be there for sale. So this is a great time oh to God. take care of Christmas shopping, get a signature inscribed yeah. to whoever you want to give it to. And Increase the value of that book. <laughs> exactly. And do good for our Continental Divide Land Trust and protecting beautiful landscapes and parks and trails Which here is, in Summit County. It's so, it's so important to do, and we're so fortunate. And yeah, you can meet John in person. I think that that sounds like... I actually can't guys. come, but Lee's going to do <laughs> Oh, she's going to be signing your name exactly. for you. <laughs> Wearing maybe, maybe a face also mask or something. Also want to point out that... Mm -hmm. uh, a very generous portion of the proceeds from the sale of John's books will be benefiting the Land Trust. Oh my gosh, that night. that's, you know, that's such a great thing and we're so, we are so fortunate um, to live in a county and live in a state that is so supportive um, with the lottery and with open space and, you know, and the great outdoors and everything. So, 
Um, you guys definitely go and check this out. You can get more information on CDLT. It is on Tuesday, November 20th. Uh, doors are at 6.30. 6.30. Tickets are $20. You can meet the John Fielding and he can give you his autograph and you can purchase his new book or his older books as well. New books, sorry. <laughs> He's got um, a plethora and um, if you, you would, for everybody would for sure recognize um, all of John's work because um, I feel like it's like Colorado and John Fielding, like you just know your work. It's like you're synonymous with, with Colorado. So glad to have you guys here and looking forward to your event on Tuesday at the Silverthorne Pavilion, the 20th at 6.30. Thanks very much guys for coming here and we'll be back on Summit Sunrise after this.